Good afternoon. We are at 1619 East Lloyd Street in Pensacola, Florida. Zip code here is 32503. You can see the sidewalks. We are actually in the East Hill District, almost at the corner of 17th and Lloyd. This house is 2,064 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. I'm going to take you inside and let's take a look. You can see this beautiful lawn. Actually, this yard, this house sits on two lots. So you can see the lots are very large in size. I believe this is 110 by about 135. You can see we do have a two car carport. Take you inside and take a look. When you come in, you're greeted by these uh, beautiful hardwood floors that you see. So right as we come in the entrance, you're right here in a large foyer. You can see that foyer goes all the way to the back. We have these really nice glass French doors. This is our formal dining room immediately to the right, and that door goes right out to the carport. This goes right into your kitchen. In the living room here, we have gas fireplace, so you do have gas logs in that fireplace. So this room is really nice, good size. Panty right back around. It looks right back into that dining room. You can see this really nice rounded door. You know, this was a style for these cottage style homes back in the 1930s and 1940s. So you're going to see that as you come in that entryway. We do have, um, you know, the home is heated and cool with central air conditioning. But as we get right here, you can see this really nice kitchen, nice and open. Home is total electric. You have plenty of cabinets. Electric cooking, that looks right back into that formal dining room. We have a dishwasher, another workspace here, glass cabinets, right in this little nook. You have pull out cabinets for extra storage. So really nice functional cabinets. In this kitchen, you can see right through, there's an opening that goes right into this Florida room. So right off this kitchen, we have this really nice Florida room. You can see this beautiful tile flooring, the bookcases. It's a really nice size Florida room. And this floral room looks right out into this really nice backyard. We have a storage building. You can see these brick pavers. So there's a door that goes right out to the backyard there. We're going to come back and we're going to actually go in the basement here just in a little bit because this home does have a full basement. So as we walk back through this kitchen, we're going to go down the hallway. So as we go down this hallway to the bedrooms, immediately to our left here is one of the additional bedrooms. And I'll tell you, this bedroom is really good size. So a really nice size bedroom. We have really nice functional closets. It's a really good size bedroom, additional bedroom. Here is the one of the main bathrooms. Now you do see that this has a washing machine in the bathroom. This is where it currently is right now. We step back in the hall right here in this hallway is where you have the dryer. The homeowner has plans already that have been designed and engineered to totally remodel this house and put this washer and dryer elsewhere but we do have this washer and dryer inside so we do have some storage your commode area and then we have a tub shower combination so this is the original ceramic tile flooring that was put in these homes back in the 30s and 40s so this is one of our full bathrooms this is another, and this is just some area that they've been using in this hallway when clothes are being put up. So, again, in this bedroom, you can see we have two closets in here, plenty of windows for lighting. This is one of the additional bedrooms here, and again, all hardwood floors throughout this whole entire home. The master is very nice and large inside. You can see, really, it's got a king-size bed. We've got two nightstands. And again, a lot of light that floods in this home. You can see we have a closet here. So really plenty of closet space in, in here. You can see the original knobs on the door, the glass knobs. 
that was typical in these homes. This is the master bath, and again, you have the original ceramic tile flooring. So this is a full bathroom. It does have a shower, so it is a step-in shower versus, versus um, you know, the other closets. So this is our sinks. So this is our master bath. It goes right back into the master bedroom, which is very nice size. So we have three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, formal dining room, large kitchen, large living room with gas fireplace, gas logs. We have a formal dining room. So if we go in this formal dining room, you can see that goes right out to the carport. And again, right there is right back at our front door again. I want to show you this basement area. You know, there's very few homes that we find that have basements, and this has a full basement. You actually have access from inside the home and from the outside of the home. <coughs> Currently, right now, this is storage for their belongings. So they've been boxing up and storing. So you can see that this basement in itself is huge. It's huge in size. So not only do we have a door on the outside, but we also have another door in here, no lights back there, that you could actually get to from the outside. So inside entrance and outside. So just a very uh, nice area to have all the storage, everything that you need that you can store down in this full basement. Great idea if you're having a storm or a tornado or a hurricane to be in this basement. So just another added feature of this home. The backyard, again, as I said, is on two lots. I'll take it outside to show you just a little bit of the backyard. So we have a nice open patio here. We have a storage building. All of the windows, as you can see, these windows have all been redone. Rebuild Northwest Florida come in and we have hurricane straps on the, um, on the roof for your excellent credits. So you have that. Heat and air conditioner has been updated. There's a lot of updates that's been done on this home. So, and again, as you can see, large lot, two lots actually, that this home sits on. And this is the stairs that goes down to the basement that we just came from. So super, super nice house. You can see the architectural shingles on the roof. That roof has been redone. So you have the great bones of the home, which is gonna be your roof, your windows, your heating and air, your hot water heaters. Those are the really good bones of the home. So, and those things have already been done. So as we go right back through the kitchen again. So, um, not sure if I told you or not, but when the homeowners bought this, they had great plans to do a total remodel of this home. So what they did is they had a set of plans that were drawn up, the plans have been engineered. Those plans are available to be purchased if it's something that you would like to purchase. But again, 1619 East Lloyd Street, Pensacola, Florida, zip code here is 32503. This is 2,064 square foot, not counting that basement. So the basement is not heated and cooled and it is not counted in the square footage. So thank you so much for watching this short video and have a great day.